As a photographer and filmmaker, I tend to carry around a lot of gear. There are a lot of scenarios where that gear is necessary, but there are also times where I'd like to be more casual and just take a few things along with me. So when Brevity sent me their Jumper Pine backpack, I was excited to try it out and see if it could be the right fit for me when I want to go on more casual adventures where I don't need to carry 20 pounds of camera equipment around with me the entire time. Previously, my main bag for all of my trips has been the Brevity Scout 2, and it's a fantastic bag that has taken a beating and it still holds up really well to this day. So I'm expecting similar greatness from the Jumper Pine. Brevity actually sent me two of these bags, and since I only need one, I'll be giving the other away to one of my subscribers, so stay tuned to the end of the video if you want to enter into the giveaway. Weather is looking great today, so I'm going to pack up the Jumper Pine and head out to one of my favorite local spots to catch the sunset. For this trip, I'm going to be packing my Canon R7 with the EF to RF adapter and my EF 17-35mm and 85mm lenses. And in addition to that, I'll also be packing my GoPro, some accessories, my DJI Mini 3 Pro drone, and lastly, a water bottle. All of these things fit rather nicely into the bag with room to spare, and the weight is distributed very well. This setup is pretty minimal, but for a more casual trip like this, it works perfectly. I have all the coverage I need at my favorite focal lengths, as well as the ability to quickly grab shots of the GoPro and capture aerial scenes with the drone. And thanks to having a minimal setup, this bag doesn't weigh all that much, which makes it very convenient for this hike I'm doing today and allows me to focus more on the beauty of God's creation around me. Well, I've made it to the overlook at the top of the trail, and the views are spectacular. And so far, this bag has done a great job and is working perfectly. A special thanks goes out to Brevity for sending it out to me to review in this video. And while they did send this bag to me for free, all opinions are my own, and Brevity will not be seeing this video before I post it. So now, let's get on to my thoughts about the bag. Initially, I was worried that the straps would be uncomfortable because there's no chest or waist clip, but because I'm not carrying all that much gear, I would say that they're not really necessary for this bag. In comparison to carrying over 20 pounds of gear on my other bags, this is a great change of pace. The bag also makes accessing my camera a breeze. I've set the bag up so that I can just unzip this side pouch here and reach in and grab my R7 or whatever camera I'm using. Now obviously I'm filming on the R7, but as you can see, there's plenty of room for it. You can grab it and pull it out. It's a feature that should be on every bag. It's, it's super convenient and it's a no-brainer. And overall, there are a lot of great things I could say about this bag. The build, the way it looks, the features it has, the room in it despite its small appearance. It really is a great bag, but that doesn't mean it's perfect. And for me, there is one thing that I'm not too keen on. And really, I might just be nitpicking here, but I figured I'd bring it up anyways just to let you know about it. To access the entire camera compartment, you have to do it from the rear of the bag. And for most people, this won't be a problem. But for me, I've had bad experiences with other bags in the past that had the same sort of setup. As one time, I had a lens fall out of the bag while it was unzipped. The lens then rolled off a cliff and was never seen again. Obviously, that was user error. I wasn't being careful. 
but I've found that backpacks with access on the side where the straps are tend to be more safe since the compartment can be more recessed into the bag. And it was that way with my Brevity Scout 2. And I'm not sure why Brevity changed it up when they went to make the jumper, but this is how it is. So that's just something to keep in mind if you prefer a bag with a compartment on the side of the straps. But as long as you're careful and don't leave it unzipped, you should be good. It's just, I prefer something more recessed into the bag. But honestly, aside from that, there's nothing bad to say about the bag. It has pretty much everything I need for a nice casual trip like this one. There are other features that I didn't mention, like a laptop sleeve on the top. I didn't really need to bring one today. Um, you also have room on the bottom to attach a tripod with these straps. You have another pouch on the front that has space for ND filters, SD card holders, and things of the sort, maybe an SSD or two. They can all fit in there, nice and compact, but still gives you plenty of room. And there are a lot of nice things I could say about this bag. It, the list goes on. So I'll wrap it up and say that this bag is a great fit for someone who likes to pack light or travel a lot. It's really comfortable, and for trips like these, it's pretty much a perfect fit, and I like it. Anyhow, it's looking like the sun is beginning to set. So I'm gonna send the drone up and hopefully I'll get some awesome shots. Like I mentioned earlier, Brevity sent me two bags, so I'll be giving one away. If you'd like to win one of these bags for yourself, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel with notifications on, follow me on Instagram, and leave a comment on this video with your Instagram handle so I can message you if you win. On May 27th, I'll randomly select a winner from the comments and announce who won on my community tab, as well as send them a message via Instagram to notify them. If you don't have Instagram, then that will make things a little bit tricky, but just mention that you don't have it in the comments, and if you win, we'll figure it out. In addition to that, unfortunately, I have to limit the giveaway to participants in North America only because of international shipping costs. I apologize for the inconvenience. So, if you'd like a shot at winning one, now you know what to do. If you're not interested in the giveaway or you found this video after the giveaway has closed and you'd like to buy one for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description. The link is an affiliate link, so I'll get a bit of kickback if you buy it from there, which goes to support me and my channel. Anyhow, that's going to do it for this video. I appreciate you watching, especially to the end. If you enjoyed this video, you know what buttons to press. My name is Rocco Germani, Jesus loves you, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.